wanted to show you a little bit about um, Python today and how one could have traded it using the watch list levels, right? And some of the psychology that kind of goes into it and the fear and then what you could have made, okay? And so here's just a quick little lesson. Um, one, so we had some news and a catalyst here, right? So um, one, we had this uh, double top here and it broke this watch list level. And then it broke this 94, which was a key level that I had on the, on the, the levels. You know, so just slammed right through it, right? And you're like, well, hey, what happened? You come to find out that um, there's a recall going on and the CEO's issuing an apology and they're starting to talk about like doing full refunds and whatnot, right? So you see this and you're like, wow, it just dropped from like $98 to $88 or $10. I was like, that's too much, right? And, and you know, Piton's a great company and blah, blah, blah. You create the story in your head, right? And you're not sure there's this. And then you're like, hey, if it breaks. Then you're like, I don't know. I don't want to chase it, right? It just dropped 10 points. Like how much further can it drop? That's what's going through your head. Or what may be going through your head, right? I shouldn't assume. So here's how the watch list levels help you, right? And help you One, we know that there's a, there's a strong failure here. If you uh, saw this break, we know that that's a big situation. And if that broke, the, uh, the target for the next drop was to be 88. So if you caught this and you saw the news quickly and you jumped in, you were worried about chasing too far, how far can it go? You quickly can look at this and go, hey, I got another four points. You can go ahead and jump in short right here and ride it to 88. Okay. Now, um, so, that, so that's one opportunity. Now, let's say it's already dumped, gone to 88. You're like, what do I do? And, you know, you see this bounce, you can go long in targeting VWAP. And then you can see this double top here. When you see this double top and it starts coming down, you can start going, hey, you know what? I might want to start going short in case it breaks the 88, because that's some pretty bad news, right? And how far and where can it go? Well, Spectre's watch list has 80. That's on the next, the, for the next level on target, right? That's like, you know, eight points away. And, and maybe 10 points away from if you're getting in right around 90 here. And it's like 91, I'm like, hey, is it worth risking a dollar in case this does a $10 move to the downside? Hell yeah, right? So if you're operating under that logic and then you see the 88 break and you're fearful, you don't need to because you see the, one, the next watch list level, right? There is room for more downside if you trust the levels. And, um, you know, they, they just kind of work. And it didn't quite get there, not yet anyways, uh, to the 80. And maybe it does off a little bit. I did, I think, uh, you know, so we'll have to see how this plays out tomorrow. But I do think there's a little more, a bit, quite a bit more downside actually possible. Uh, we'll see how the news, uh, how the news moves forward from, from here. But for the sake of the trade, right, from this, if you had seen this and you're like, hey, this could go to 80, you just grab something in the middle. 85 is good enough, right? You want to get, try to do some numbers quick. And you see this thing and see the double top and it starts moving down. And you can start going in here and going, hey, you know what? This is like two, 225, 250. It's doing this. It pops a little bit, tests it, comes down, starts, you know, you start anticipating this. And you can pretty much get in right here either at 250 or but let's just say three dollars right when it starts it starts coming back like starts doing this move here and you're just going hey you know what i'm going to get in three i'm going to put a stop here at 50 cents okay and if you're doing that and you're like hey you know what i'm willing to risk i'm going to risk a thousand dollars on this right so you're like hey because this news is horrible I, I think it's worth risking a thousand bucks on it so if you're risking 50 cents you're going to grab 20 contracts right and if you ride this down into this this candle right here we see the volume start spiking up and start covering and this right here you sell like 650 let's just say right 650 let's just even keep the number symbol let's say we didn't even sell it all the way at seven let's say we sold it at six bucks right here okay so you're in at three bucks 20 contracts risking a thousand dollars hit six bucks 
in the course of from 1030 to 12, right, an hour and a half with 20 contracts uh, at three bucks, you basically just doubled your money. You're in $3, 20 contracts at $6,000. You're selling it at six, six bucks. That's $12,000, right? And so you just made $6,000 in an hour and a half on this trade. And, you know, this was just like cake, right? And then if you were in here, say you got in at three and you were kind of like dipping against you, the most it really even dipped was 275, so 500 bucks. Never went to a thousand or even close, right? And, uh, and that's what you could do, right? So, um, and, and I alerted this in, in the rooms. I actually had said, hey, I'm grabbing 85 puts, 80 puts, and 75 puts. That's how bad I thought the news was. And I still think I might get some more downside. But the important thing here is that you can use the watch list levels, right, to help you make your decisions, right? You can go, hey, this, you can anticipate this break. And if that breaks, where is it going to go? Is it worth it, right? Hell yeah, it's worth it. And, and, and look, in an hour and a half, wouldn't you want to make six grand, uh, risking a thousand dollars? It's, it's, this is a, uh, guys, this is great stuff. Um, and, and so, you know, next time you have news, if it's something that's on the watch list, something that I've done levels for, um, don't, don't feel like you need to write it and be scared, um, or just, and just like, you're feeling like you're trading, you don't have a way to trade it. The levels are here to help you, right? So I hope this uh, video was helpful. And uh, if you want to learn more about how to trade two hours a day, uh, be sure to check us out at the Two Hour Trader Program on Edamomo. And if you're looking for awesome option flow, be sure to check out Black Box Stocks. So thanks again for watching, and I will uh, see you guys uh, next time. Take care.